this just feels like mass capitulation over the last month. Is that what it is for you? Uh, that are, that we're seeing some of that for sure, John. You're seeing the uh, investor intelligence numbers put the call ratios. Uh, all these are kind of in the top decile of observations, which usually means at some point you got to pull back. We're in a seasonally very strong period, so I don't want to overdo it, but uh, I would not be chasing stocks here. Uh, I don't see big downside, but uh, you're right. There's been some capitulation, and uh, while we have some bright lights at the end of this tunnel regarding those vaccines, I don't think we get from here to there without a bump or two along the way. You share the same view as most people, though, for 21, though, Bob. It's going to be a good year. Many people feel that I, way, I think... so why get defensive now? Well, I, again, I'm, I'm only being short-term in orientation. If you've got cash sure. on the sidelines earmarked for equities, I wouldn't go plowing all, all in at all-time highs. I'd, uh, I'd take my time about it. Uh, look, light at the end of the tunnel, vaccines, uh, economic reopening, um, uh, improvement in earnings, um, we're probably going to be okay uh, and absent some you know, big, big downturn. Uh, but uh, I don't think it's going to be a straight line. And we've had pretty much a straight line up since the election as the absence of the blue wave has caused a lot of people to breathe a sigh of relief and put money to work. But what is it about what you anticipate that's going to test the patience of this market right now? Is it the data? Is it policy? Is it the pandemic? Is it execution around the vaccine rollout? What are you anticipating? Yes, all, all of that. Again, I don't want to fight the Fed and I don't want to fight the tape. But my, my comments are, it's not, a, it's not a straight line. Look, just because we have a vaccine doesn't mean everybody's immunized tomorrow. We could see some mutations in this thing along the way. That would not be a pretty scene. Um, I mentioned this, uh, this kind of one-way street sentiment that bothers me. Nobody's talked about it for a while, but valuations aren't particularly cheap. You know, <laughs> stocks are, uh, you know, up there in the, in the 20s, and that matters, at least over the long term. Uh, valuation matters. So, uh, I... I Earnings, uh, you know, we're, we're going to get into confession season before long. Third quarter earnings were a lot yeah. better than expected. Hopefully fourth quarter will be as well. But, uh, you know, this rush to raise my GDP numbers for the fourth quarter, I think it's going a little too far in the wake of some slowing in retail sales. The employment numbers are going to be good, but they're not going to be great. So please don't take me. I'm not a bear. Don't fight the Fed. Don't fight the tape. But it's not going to be a straight I understand. Line. I'm not going to call you a bear, Bob. I know you're not a bear. 2021, <laughs> though, it's become very, very consensus.